Hello, hello, people. How are you doing? So, plans for today. Continue the, the walkthrough using chemical weapons. Um, let's see where we go. I have this in the last stream unlock the Fortress Falcon again. And I'm using the ACBM with the Death Cloudberg. And I have to fight the Nocturno VMD walls with microfiltration. That's not going to help, so. ICBM here is useless. Okay. Uh, let's send everyone to the lasers. Pilos, you've got a new playthrough idea. Well, tell me. I wanted to shoot at his malicious demon. Wasted a laser, a laser shot. 4 times expendable specs now nah, is going to be impossible. 4 times expendables. With 4, if you, with four expendables, a uh, soldier can die with just a few shots with the basilisk. And they move so slow that that's going to be impossible. What I was thinking is to make a playthrough using the clandestine operations. Since it's an uh, underused uh, utility, why not give it a try? Oh, and also he's going to launch his ACBMs both at the same time and I will not be able to stop it. Okay, you no, know, he's, launch he's launching one at the time, but... Okay, I repaired my active defense. Uh, oh shit. Well, I just lost half of the port. Laser weapons here are not the best in this exact moment. Challenge Air Force only, so no concrete forts. Uh, that will be hard because. Uh, I mean, I, I will have to use forces that are locked for the player because all of the forces that the player has they're essentially uh, built with concrete so. um, He launches two ICBMs and I don't have my active defense repair Yeah, clandestine operations are fun when you can stack them, but on the base game you can't, so... That's a bit problematic.
And he's dying very slowly because I don't have any guns. And now he launches two ACBMs at the same time. So maybe deactivate active defense and now activate it again. I lost two guys more. Yeah, this level could be done now. I could have done. I could have completed the level already, but I don't have any guns to do it faster. You know what? Actually, I will, I will change slightly the fortress here because. It is way too slow. Maybe, maybe we'll use this fort and do something like this. Also, the ACPM in the back. Nuclear reactor, probably. Maybe signal scrambler or not. Wait, no, actually, no. Minus six, so probably I will need munitions depot. And yes, I would like to stick here a gun, but don't have power and don't have ammunition. The problem with how force that the the game gives you, you just don't have enough ammunition or power to do something you want. Okay, never mind. Let's go like this then. Let's see if I can hit. And obviously the AI without the radar knows that I'm going to hit his uh, his small laser. Obviously, obviously. Maybe we'll hit the flash grenade. Obviously I miss, this is red bone, what I was expecting. But I killed a lot of soldiers. Bad timing. But they survived. They survived thanks to cushion helmets. Maybe load incendiary bomb. Fadlan, you're back. Let's send you guys to repair. Uh, 
now let's get back to our laser fort. Uh, I like this laser fortress because you don't have to worry about the enemy defense. Lasers can go through shield and through active defense. So. Uh, obviously, the AI without a radar hits my active defense uh, right where it is. It is hidden here, but he hits without a radar. Obviously, obviously. A red one moment. Bro, can the AI please uh, don't be so crazy when it comes to hitting hitting your structures that are that are well hidden from uh, with the first shot, please. Can we not do it? Hello, Lee. How are you doing? Everything is going according to plan. get a new perk or something, but the game is not giving me anything today. Also, maybe I would send... Actually, he has a lot of spam, so maybe everyone on defense. people to repair it um, one two three four five soldiers are dead I ah, know actually six I killed everyone with one rocket and now I can kill his fort easily let's send these people to reload the lasers CVM is very good. It reloads pretty fast 
uh, with the death cloud perk is is just massive. No, Lee, I don't like the, that defense layout. I prefer this one. I prefer laser at the back, flak in the middle and the auto cannon in here in the front. Because if I put the flak here in the front, in the place where the auto cannon is right now, all this space is, it becomes undefended from shells. Yeah, the neurotoxin reloads faster than the nemesis and faster than uh, the other ICBM, the car on ICBM, the transport, the transport one. Because look, look how many shells and my flak cannon just stopped. If it was here at the bottom, everything that he shot probably will go to my neurotoxin ICBM or my uh, laser. my shield yeah but the flag usually you don't use the flag for uh, defending ICBMs Shot him. Where is this guy going? Where is he going? This guy, this guy just decided to kill himself. Nice. Look, uh, the auto cannon help uh, here helps uh, against big shells like the Typhon or the Omega. The Omega not so efficient, but against Typhon, it is very efficient because the Typhon shell usually is pretty slow, and the auto cannon has time to do damage to it, like this. Also, the flak cannon helps here a lot. And I wonder if I will get any good perk for this run. I would like micro microfiltration, even though it will be useless, but just to fit it. Oh, another death cloud. <laughs> uh, just talking about good perks, another death cloud. There we go. Now I have two death clouds. Sixty percent faster, and it lasts thirty percent longer. Now I just need the green neurotoxin. Um, we're good to go. Actually, stay here, stay here, and you over here. Now I have two neurotoxins. Now I just need the green neurotoxin, um, and my gas ICBM will kill uh, almost instantly. And I have upgraded my lasers. Uh, okay, he had a radar. Okay, I will not blame him now, but... Can you please not hit my active defense for once? We... we... in the first shot. And now... I could 
need a very deep defense, I need it. Also, I will send probably people to... Come on. And now let's see how fast it will kill. Almost instantly. Yeah, he launches his ACPM. Uh, okay, repair the active defense, please, ASAP. Okay, active defense back online. Please? Okay, okay, we're, we're good to go. He doesn't have any more EMP, so I'm safe. And the neurotoxin lasts 30% longer. That's incredible. Because maybe I, I will be able to prepare my next ACBM and before the gas here runs out. And I sure do, so maybe... maybe here. Let's destroy this laser, it's getting annoying. Now let's see how fast this guy dies. Instantly. Now I just need to find the green, uh, the green perk for the, the, the green death cloud. Uh, that would be awesome. Also, my lasers are now level 3. But my ACB is just level 1. Let's launch ACB here. Uh, I hope that my active defense will stop it, but it didn't. My active defense did not work as well as I expected. But I don't care. I'm using chemical warfare after all. <laughs> I'm committing war crime after war crime. <laughs> you can do in redcon. Neurotoxin ACBM and lasers. The first time I played redcon, how it was? It was definitely fun. And it was challenging at the first because I didn't know what to what to do on or how the game works uh, as deep as I know it right now. It was a bit challenging. Especially on the pre-made levels like this one, the Centurion Missile Pod. At first it was challenging, but on the second and third playthrough and so on it became easier and easier because you start to understand what strategy you have to use, uh, how the game works, what to expect on some levels and so on and so on. Like, look, he's throwing here either a flash bomb or a shredder grenade. Shredder, I told you. The more you play the game, the more you start to understand how the game works. Can you please die? Yeah, no, 
stop, 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 stop. Maraca. Condensed napalm rocketing as best as coating. He has the big EMP, so. Thankfully, he missed. Thank God that he missed. He doesn't have a radar, and he missed. Wow, incredible. I didn't expect that coming eh? from, the, from this game. Yeah, let's launch ACPM here. A little soon. Small laser. He's going to put out the fire, meanwhile, I will just land my ACBM and he's dead. Look at this guy try to run away, but but my my death cloud perk saves me a lot here. Actually, he doesn't have any a lot more soldiers alive, so I don't need the ICBM that much. ACBM here. Um, okay, he didn't. He didn't go after my ACBM. If he decided to go after my ACBM, I probably would be dead. And this guy decided to go through the gas. Bad idea. And he died. are incredible in some levels on other levels they are shit
no perks, sadly. Please, game, give me some good perk. So here maybe we'll send everyone to the shield because of his mortar spam. And now he will just constantly bombard me into my Neurotrus and CPM. I will keep firing here my lasers so that the fire doesn't stop and later I will just like now trigger him to go put out the fire meanwhile my ACBM will hit and kill most of his soldiers even though he has desperate measures there we go uh, I don't know how many soldiers I killed but that was a lot Station, but it's not going to help him. And let's launch another ACBM and I can move people to lasers because I'm going to kill these two guys with my ACBM right now. ACBM is such fun sometimes, but again, the problem with the forts uh, in Redcon is that the forts that you have, they don't, uh, they don't have good stats, and I still get no perk. Like the amount of. Uh, power or ammunition you get, it's not enough to make something interesting out of it. Basically you are stuck using a few strategies and if you go out of those boundaries you, you cannot do much because again power and ammunition limits. Polarix, he doesn't have anything useful. Well, he does have the onslaught, but it's not going to help him when I launch my SCBM. He will move all soldiers to put out the fire, except this one, but he's going to die. And everyone is dead. Almost everyone is dead. Let's see if I can move this guy out of there. Uh, he will get still. Stay hidden there. So now let's send people to reload lasers. Uh, okay, let's rotate this guy. He got very close to dying. And let's start working on his lasers. Slowly, very slowly, but surely. Eventually the fire will kill him, but it will take a lot of time. Let's launch an ACBM here probably.
my fortress is out of power, but his fortress is on fire. So let's move out this guy. I probably should change Hex Aegis for the Cushion Helmets. Just so my soldiers uh, wake up quickly. Any EMPs, any Archons, and down he goes. Traitors and Thieves, useless perk, not going to use it. So, where's Cushion Helmets? There we go. Railroad Nexus, so here I have to be careful. Focus on active defense, and then I can put an ICBM here and disable. A big chunk of his port. Maybe we'll send another guy to reload the shield faster. Think about their fourths only. I'm not sure. I'm not sure about it. But what I was thinking about is a uh, walkthrough where, uh, where I will use the clandestine operations, where I must use clandestine operations. It's a very underused utility, almost no one uses because why use it when you have signal scrambler or the shield? So I was thinking about it, or, and the uh, earth only forts. Mm. There isn't many. What do we have? Mole Hill, uh, Retaliatory Battalion. What what else do we have? The Jupiter ICBM vaults, and also I get upgrade for the Neurotoxin ICBM. There isn't much air force. He's going to focus my reactor. Seconds reloading of Typhon. I haven't tested it. Can't tell you. Yes, 
So what will I do here? Launch, and, uh, shoot with my laser, and now launch my CPM. <laughs> Thank you, Lee. But I think I'm not going to do a lot of uh, custom force uh, videos more. I mean, I have plenty of them, but... I want to focus more on streaming. Maybe make some guides, I don't know, but... I feel like my custom 4 series are just... Getting repetitive, you know? And I want something different. Plus, I prefer streaming because... I can talk, talk with you here on stream instead of uh, replying to comments on my YouTube videos. I think it's better overall for everyone. And this guy is dead. I need for this fort maybe another death cloud or maximum overcharge will be good. Maximum overcharge for lasers would be great. But I'm getting no perk. Okay, so this level. Shit ton of rockets and here the wall of fire perk will help me. A lot, but I don't have it. I don't need the shield in this level, so I'm not going to use people with the shield. I'm not, I'm, I'm not going to operate it. Nah, I'm not going to use single scrambler here. I could put it, but. My active defense at the moment isn't doing great. Let's launch the CPM. There we go. A lot of soldiers die. Uh, let's send people to reload the lasers. Ah, uh, this guy decided to kill himself, okay, why not? This fort will be very dangerous, the Stormguard AA system would be very dangerous if first he had the... What was the name of it? I forgot the perk. The heavy shell perk that adds durability to rockets and if Hexage increases the durability, the base durability of the rockets in some update, this fort I think will become very dangerous. I just used one ACBM for one guy. Still no perk. Also another ground fort, fort locust. Uh, no, you stay, you stay, you stay, go here. Big lasers, there we go. Fort Locus has a big layout, has a lot of different slots, but it's none of them is used. 
and the amount of weapons this fort has is just funny. Because what he has? 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 guns and 2 ICBMs. Fire. Ah, okay, he put out the fire. Launch the CBM here. He has auxiliary reserves, which is great. More kills for me. The CBM is going to impact and kill 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 soldiers. Okay, 9. Everyone is dead. One ICBM and everyone is dead. Now let's focus on his guns. He launches his ACPM. But thankfully I have active defense as he, he's going to target my shield. Okay, no, he's not going to target my shield, he's going to target my neurotoxin ACPM. Come on, cushion helmets help me. You see, cushion helmets now help me a lot. It made it made that all, all of my soldiers survived, even though low HP, but they survived, and that's the important part of it. They survived. Everyone is low HP, but survived. Let's launch another ICBM. He launches his ACPM. Everyone on lasers. Uh, the next mission is Jupiter ICPM Walls. No good perks. Let's do the standard way of the Jupiter ACPM vaults. I killed one soldier, nice. Now let's focus the reactor. Put the fire in his reactor. Reactor exploded, focus the ACBM. Start a fire in his ACBM. His ACBM is down, ACBM is down. Let's shoot the next one, and meanwhile, let's launch support ICBM. He launches his ACBM, but it's not going to help him. I already won. If you get more luck, you can do it without getting hit. But I don't care. I won, and that's what what's important to me. Spam level everyone on the shield. Let's focus his ballistic radar. Let's just be careful on this level. Wow. Better safe than sorry, you know. I 
I don't like the fact that he's trying to destroy my laser. Uh, let's launch ICBM. And I'm going to kill everyone in one ICBM. One, two, three, four, five, six. Everyone is dead. And now I can easily destroy all of his spam. One good hit with ICBM can easily win you the game. Nah, he doesn't have any, any cannons to shoot. <laughs> he has only one Hydra, one Basilisk that is going to die right away. Also, this level has huge problems with ammunition supply. If you go with much attention table and you try to edit it, you will see how this level has a very, very huge problem with uh, ammunition supply. Like, look, he has only plus 10 ammunition, plus 10 for this huge fort. Um, he doesn't have uh, a lot of uh, power either. Only plus 10 ammunition, that's... That's very underwhelming. What fort do you think is the best enemy fort excluding Remus Factorium? Uh, by best, what do you mean? Uh, aesthetics, the design, the the firepower. What do you mean by the best? If you mean by design, well, look, central intelligence uh, command is it looks very great in terms of design. In terms of firepower, uh, Remus Capital of Crooks has a lot of firepower. Best to use. Uh, Well, as you said, excluding Remus Factorium, best to use. There is a starter, le a starter level well, in the mid game, Xerxes Industrial City. It is, uh, it has a very good layout and it has a lot of soldiers, a lot of ammunition and power supply. I like it. Uh, and also it has a good defense layout. And I think I killed everyone with one SCBM again. Another level that I... another fort that I like a lot is Fortress Mars. The late game. Give you a challenge to do well. Look, the next uh, the next walkthrough that I will probably do is I will must use the clandestine operations. So here is a challenge for you. You must use clandestine operations in every fort that you have. Element of surprise. Oh, nice. I can use element of surprise. To increase my stun duration with the ICBM, that's incredible. So what, what what I was talking about, Fortress Mars, I like it a lot. It for me personally, Fortress Mars feels like a better version of the Fortress Resolution, like an older and better version of Fortress Resolution. 
I don't know, I just uh, see that wave. CPM, so let's send people to reload lasers. This guy decided to die, and I killed the last one with laser. Nice. The next level will be the Fortress Resolution, if I'm correct. You keep grinding the same level, Fatland, but you can't get the old slope. Bad luck. Jericho, which will become Fortress Resolution. Uh, so, I uh, last time with my energy only weapons, I got here some problems. But let's see if now I can do it better. The thing is, I need to destroy his active defense and his signal scrambler. Let's send one guy here, let's rotate those two. Uh, obviously he hits my active defense. Well, he has a raider, okay, I, I will not blame him, he has a raider. I need to move out these guys. Send everyone to repair, fast. He's going to hit my shield, move out quickly. And now you and you go here. Go out. Okay, launch ICBM here fast. And I don't need the ICBM anymore. I don't need it anymore. Now let's focus on keeping our fort alive. Or maybe I can repair it. Okay, I, I see BM impacts, and I kill one, two, three, four, five. Nice. Okay, these guys are very low HP. I need to rotate them somewhere. In the shield, go to the shield. And this guy can go here. Can you turn on, please? Let's focus on the EMP. The EMP is cancerous. 
Maybe I can repair. Please tell me I can repair the ICBM. I don't want to lose it yet. Send two guys to repair the SPM. Uh, actually, not. I will lose it. Or maybe not. That will be extremely funny if I don't lose the SPM. Okay, yes, I can launch another one. And now I will lose it. Yes, now I will lose it. There we go. But it's there at its purpose. Okay, the last guy is dead and he's, slowly, um, he's going to slowly die to fire. Will I give, will I get any perk or will I not? Probably not, but if I get, please be something good. I don't want to happen like the last playthrough where I got a lot of good perks, but only at the end of the game. Nah, no perks. Fuck me. Uh, I will try to use the extra manpower and cover layout. Just to have one extra solder. Do something like this. Uh, maybe a EMP here in the back just to bait the enemy AI to shoot there. Something like this. And here. Uh, what can I put there? Mm -hmm. I can put the Elite Force Armory. A fleet high command? No, I don't need it. Maybe a ballistic. Nah, let's just use armory and call it a day. Perks: Death Cloud, obviously, Painkillers, another Death Cloud, and Element of Surprise. So the EMP will just stay there to bait the enemy AI shooting and everyone else on lasers and weapons. Everyone hold fire, hold fire, hold fire. ICBM though, and he has hard shell, which is not good for me. I hope that my active defense can stop it. It can't. Wake up. I don't have the... Shit. 
I don't have the... Why do I have the armory? The armory provides you... Reduces the damage for your soldiers to 20% Well, 20% uh, reduced damage to your soldiers Which is helpful See if I can kill these guys. Yes, I can. Let's burn his fort down. Because look, Elifaz reduces all damage done to infantry by 20%. So my soldiers can survive more more hits. And he launches another SCBM. But at least I will stop it. I will stop this one. Yes, I will. Firing. Oh, that was close. So let's send two guys to repair everything that we have, and we win. Yeah, this challenge is going exactly like uh, the last one that I did with only energy and uh, rocket challenge. But hey, if this sport works, it works. that they gave you uh. okay fire he's going to put it out but he will lose all soldiers in the process and maybe I should move out my guys as well yeah I should okay no I shouldn't I actually destroyed his CPM Lasers, everyone on lasers. Let's damage his soldiers. Something is something. And let's launch this beam here. Wow. And he lost every guy. Adler, I mean, I'm using both at the same time, so... 
It's a little bit from from both sides, lasers and chemical weapons. He has death cloud as well, but I have better death cloud. I have two of them. Still no good perk. Maybe I should should change strategy a little bit. Fifty four ammunition. But I don't like this layout. I don't like it. Let's change a little bit the strategy and use the Omega. Ah, you have completed the challenge. Ah, okay, okay. Here, Tartarus there. Maybe let's use some brute force in this in this fort. What's next? Mm. I was thinking about doing myself uh, on the next playthrough. Uh, a small challenge where I have to use, I must use the clandestine operations on every fort that they play, except, well, except the uh, except the force that the game gives you. I was thinking about doing something like this. And one for fire. That hit me hard. I'll make a here. Wow. Sigma scrambler. Target my reactor. Maybe if I wouldn't have used this setup, it would go a little bit better for me, but. Yeah, let's use the laser fort. I prefer the laser fort than this one. <clears throat> Give you another challenge, well, I, I'm... Use the clandestine operations. In every fort that you will, are going to use, use uh, clandestine operations. Because uh, that's the next, next challenge that I'm going to do. Focus on using clandestine operations. From the moment you unlock it, you have to use it. Oh, actually, never mind. I think that the previous port here will be better. Everyone in the Omega, I need people in the Omega.
Yeah, I'm thinking that too. That, that challenge is going to be quite interesting. Let's try to deactivate his EMP shit. Come on, Omega. Omega fires. Everyone is almost dead. Uh, everyone is dead, yes. Yeah, Crooks laser versus state chemical weapons. Uh, reactor is going to explode, move out. I will not able to repair it in time, so let's just sacrifice the reactor. Not for long though, I'm going to repair it. Now, the only problem I see with clandestine operations is that it's very slow. Plus, it you can't operate it without a solder. Signal Scrambler can reload without anyone operating it. Meanwhile, you can't do that on, on the clandestine operations. That's the problem I see with it. If clandestine operations could, could work uh, automatically, that would be great, but oh, here I like this level. Let's change port. And probably send a, li a little more soldiers to the shield. Yeah, Adler, no, no doubt that it works, but the problem I have with it is that it works very slow and it, you can't uh, operate it like a uh, signal scrambler with two soldiers or, or even autonomously. That thing doesn't work uh, by its own. You need to have at least one soldier operating well, You need to have one soldier operating it. It doesn't work by itself. I would use it more if it could work like Signal Scrambler, operated by two soldiers and it can work by itself. Then yes, then it's going to be better, but on the current state it's underpowered. Plus it's very slow. It's very slow for me. Yes, no doubt, uh, when the enemy uses it, it's, it's pretty annoying, but when it comes for you to using it, uh, you just, you just uh, lose
moves to to utility slots. And by the time you you can't use it, you just destroy the enemy fort. It happened to me a lot. I tried to use it, but by the time it's it reloads, I already destroyed the enemy fort and probably killed every every soldier. At, at, at that point, it becomes useless. Still no perks. The game doesn't want to give me any perk. What does he have? Jackpots, auxiliary reserves, and painkillers. The CBM I needed. The CBM is more important. Yeah, I sent everyone to repair the CBM. Shit, I misclicked, I wanted to shoot with my with my small wizard to his medical ray station. But still I'm going to kill some soldiers, I hope, yeah. One, two, three, four, five. Yes. Five soldiers down. Decided to didn't pay attention. The guy probably decided to go to the medical ray station. Okay, the Tartarus has to go. Tartarus is very annoying to me at the moment. Where I can put my CBM? Let's put it here. Ah, I misclicked. I wanted to focus the Tartarus. down Only we could have the bigger forts. Condensed Snapeal, not going to use it. Railroad Terminal XL. Probably we'll we'll send two guys to the shield. Destroy a small laser here. Uh, 
I hope I will put a fire in his his small laser. Yes. Okay, it's going to die by itself. By by itself. So let's focus on his active defense, and then I can put the CPM in his typhoon. Target his medical station. Okay. Okay. And I think I killed everyone. One, two, three, four, five, six. I think I killed everyone with one SCBM again. Send people from ICBM to my lasers. After all, I don't need ICBM anymore. But I sure do need the lasers. It's a long time that I haven't used the Berg Wall of Fire. Now that I think of, it's been a very long time. Molehill. Uh, Molehill has Wall of Fire. Uh, stop! I don't. I don't care about spam. But let's stop his Alastorus. Fortress Octopus layout, uh, <coughs> Fadlan, is the same that you have the, in the Fortress Carabeos. It's just slightly bigger and better stats. But they share the same layout. Uh, oh shoot. Uh, I got a massive hit with the Omega. And I lost my SPM. My soldiers are well. I could, I could put it well, but I don't want to lose HP on my soldiers. Plus, I need to repair my fort. Yeah, maybe, maybe instead of the shield, let's use here the signal scrambler. I think it's going to be a better use. The signal scrambler is going to be more useful here. Two people in the signal scram scrambler, everyone reloading lasers. Yes. Yes. 
Actually, let's use Signal Scrambler. Let's try to deactivate something. ICBM ready, let's launch it here. Sigma Scrambler. His active defense is offline. And a lot of people dies. Okay, let's rotate these two guys. Let's play it safe. Scrambler, even though my active defense stopped it, but I don't want to risk right now. Let's see if I can kill this guy with my EP. Miss. And let's launch another ICBM, and he's dead. Thing with the hospital. <laughs> Maybe on some playthrough where I am going to use the cheat engine table. Meanwhile, let's kill his fort. He has only left the Omega. And my Sigma Scrambler cap is very oh yeah, Scrambler. Active defense stops. It's Omega Shell. Now the idea of this of this challenge is to use only chemical weapons. Well chemical. Chemical with something. Like chemical with lasers, with cannons. And I got the last death cloud! <laughs> now I got three of them. Guys, I have three death clouds now. I have all three of them. Uh, what was it? Was something like this? Guys, I now officially have all three dead clouds. Will I be live tomorrow? Uh, no, tomorrow I, I won't stream. Tomorrow is Sun uh, Monday, and I will not stream on Monday. Now 40, 70, 90 percent faster, and last then. 25... 45% longer. Oh my god. What was I talking about? Imagine getting all three Death Cloud perks. Now I officially have them. The game knows what I am doing right now. The game just uh, feels it like... Okay, I won't give you any orange perk. I won't give you volunteers or something like that. But you will get all three Death Clouds. Also, let's, let's keep reloading the ICBM without the fire. Repair the active defense. Also, fucking lasers, he has a lot of lasers too as well. Without the fire. Wow, this guy is low HP. Let's launch his CPM here. Wow. And let's see how fast they die. What he has? Okay, he doesn't have the. What was called. 
I don't I don't remember the perk, okay. Bro, insta instantly die. They just instantly die. Well I see beyond with the hospital. <laughs> Hello Nicholas, hello, hello. Plus now the toxin lasts so long that I can launch another ICBM and still the gas from the last ICBM will uh, will stay. Death Clouds is a little bit overkill. <laughs> because look, the gas stays and I can launch and I launch my next ICBM. Do the funny with the city, not today. Uh, I'm not using the cheat engine table today. Not today, sorry. Maybe on another casual stream where I where I will just do random stuff. Then yes, probably yes, absolutely. But at the moment, no. I'm doing a normal playthrough. SST Invictus, fuck this level. From bottom of my heart, fuck this level. Send people to repair the list, the, the EMP. Repairing the ICBM ASAP. I don't want to lose it right now. Let's launch it. Oh shit, I activated it. <laughs> wow. Well, okay, he's targeting my shield now. And move out of there. And I almost killed every, every soldier that he had. Bro, just look how fast he dies, look. He just moved through... Ah, he's dead, okay, nice. I killed every soldier in his fort, now I can kill his fort. Uh, I was one guy. Uh, move out, move out, move out, move out. I was one guy. Uh, I see him. Yes, ICBM, he was targeting the ICBM. Uh, let's rotate this guy, move out. Stop firing, please hold fire. I like how I just have one guy repairing the shield. And it's not going fast, let's help him. Another ICBM, let's launch it. Ah, 
Ah, nice. He was going after my. He was going after my dude. Nice. Well, I lost another guy. But he is dead. I don't care how many people I lose. I will win. I will win no matter what. And the game still doesn't want to give me any any good perk. <laughs> So I don't need the shield here. I want to get maybe... I would like to get a wall of fire even though... No, it's actually not bad. Wall of fire is not bad. the perks that I get on my on my streams to what I'm actually streaming is yes. happens from time to time. One, four, five, six, seven. Seven soldiers are dead instantly. That the perks I get is a uh, randomized, so it's like the it's like the game knows what I'm what I'm about to do and it decides, to, okay, let's give him this perk, let's give him that perk. But whenever I ask the game to give me something that they want, the game never gives it to me, never. Well, okay, I asked for the third death cloud and they gave 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 it to me. Okay, I will cut my bullshit. <laughs> I asked the game for another death cloud and the game gave it to me, okay. But uh, mostly the game doesn't listen to me. Most of the time the game doesn't listen to me. Oh, Fortress Apocalypse, I love this level. When I see Piamat, he's down. I just need to hold against his Omega. Oh, slow, wall of fire, advanced auto loaders. Hold fire, please, mate. I always forget about you. ICBM, uh, ICBM Omega. Nice. I stopped the Omega with my flag cannon. I see VM, let's go. Now let's move out of, of this place, this guy. And I will kill everyone with one ICBM. Boom. And everyone just instant, instantly dies. Okay, nice, I got the shield. And I stopped his ICBM, nice. I'm safe. But let's not push your luck too far. Let's destroy his ICBMs.
Yeah, this level goes down easy with one ICBM. Bye-bye. Lucky shot. Good perk, but useless for me at the moment. Lucky shot is a very good perk, but it's useless for me because I have lasers and the EMP is just to bait in me AI, so... Filtration perk just to feed the theme of uh, neurotoxin uh, chemical warfare. Even though it's probably going to be useless for me, but I just want to feed the theme of chemical warfare. Okay, Signal Scrambler is going to die, and now I have to focus on his active defense. And let's launch ACBM because he has his clandestine operations almost ready. Yeah, let's stop it. It's literally one millisecond uh, before activating. I killed almost everyone. Let's destroy his clandestine operations. Because look, his clandestine operations is literally one millisecond before activating. And the last guy decided to kill himself, nice. Don't need the CPM anymore. Uh, please stop spamming. Academy goes down very easy. Advanced auto loader is another good perk, but not for me. Soul Tyrannus. Uh, so, don't need people in the shield, or maybe. I will keep one guy in the shield just for. just for his EMP. Actually, don't need it. Never mind, don't need it. Send to people to put out the fire and repair the laser. Laser EMP. Put out the fire. Repair the active defense. Play EMP repaired, nice. Ah, uh, he put another fire in my port, move out, move out, this ICBM go. Oh shit. I thought that he is going to target my active, def active defense uh, ICBM. Let's blow up his reactor. Oh, 
Also, we have a fire. So, I there was I had there a guy. I didn't pay attention. Oh shit! My fort is is taking heavy damage. Let's see if I can put out the fire. I know I can't. But at least I have my active defense back online. I need to put out the fire somehow. Nice. And wow, wow. Shit, everyone is low HP. Okay, thankfully I moved that guy out in time. And he killed one of my guys. Again. Of the fire and let's target his rockets. Let's everyone repair the ICBM. And the last level I will far fight for today is Mount Sepulcher. The thing is, he has the microfiltration perk, so maybe my lucky shot look, my lucky shot now will be very useful. And advanced auto loaders. Something like this. So, because I'm doing a chemical warfare, I, I will have to use the neurotoxin super neurotoxin shell, but I will rely on my normal guns. So I need to take out somehow his clandestine operations before it's too late. Uh, this guy uh, can move out. Let's yeah, reload the Typhon. Typhon is better. Fire Typhon. EMP here. Alastor. Now I have to focus on how 49% Let's hit here 47% I have to work through his fort To deactivate his signal scrub Signal scrub mode, yeah, signal scrub mode um, His Clandestine operations, or at least I destroyed his Elite force armory so he doesn't have any machine guns on his shoulder. Uh, let's keep two guys in the Typhoon. He launches his CBM, nice. I will use my signal scrambler. He 
has a very good defense. Bye bye, Fatlan. Okay, maybe I will send one guy to the EMP. EMP is becoming useful after all. 70%. Nice, 70% actually hit. Nice. Please tell me I can stop his condition operations before it's too late. Please, game. Ah, nah, he repaired it. Ah. I will lose another guy. Now I have this fucking... Infiltrated, infiltrated guy in my fort, but I killed him, thankfully. Let's target his active defense. Nice, nice, and his active defense is down. Finally. He's 3 HP. I can kill him with one shot. Any shot can kill him. Uh, how many hit chance? 73%. I will try to hit him with my Omega. There we go. I just lost three guys there, but it doesn't count as lost. Huh? What? So the two guys that were infiltrated in my fort doesn't count as lost. Huh, interesting, interesting. And super concrete, useless shit. So, thank you everyone for watching, yes, Fadlan, uh, Fadlan, uh, Führer, Adler, Grimm, GG. Thank you everyone for watching, we will continue maybe, uh, let me check, Monday, Tuesday, we'll continue on, 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 we'll continue on Thursday, because from the, from Thursday, I will have uh, I will have holidays. I will have maybe a week and a half holidays. So I probably will stream every day. Thank you everyone for watching. Um, have a nice day. Bye bye.